What is going on everybody? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to improve the experience on your Android or Google TV device. So I'm going to show you some of these 7 essential apps that you should start off with. Now firstly I don't like the default launcher as it has you know a lot of ads some of them which are not appropriate for children and we're going to fix that straight away and the first thing we're going to do is install an app called Project TV Launcher which is an Android TV launcher replacement. So we need to head over to the Play Store or the App Search section and type PROJ which is short for Project TV and click on search. So here is the launcher and it has a very high rating of 4.7 stars. So I'm just going to go ahead and install it and speed up the installation process and give it any file permission access when prompted. Once that has finished, Project TV Launcher will launch and we can see all of our apps showing horizontally. Now there is a notification at the bottom, I will touch on that very shortly. Now if I long press on any app, there will be a sub menu. Here we can go into the app settings, open it, uninstall it, launch the app on boot, add parental controls, change the name of the app, change the icon which is premium, reorder it and also hide the app. Let me just demonstrate that now. As you can see the app has been hidden. Now to bring it back we're just going to go towards the left and to the settings icon and here if we go to the bottom manage apps and here we can see all of the apps. We can also hide them or show them in bulk. Below that we have watch next. These are some of the shows we are watching on Netflix and they will show here. Now if you have some games installed, they will be under this category as well. But since I don't have any, we have settings, display, applications, system and then about. Now if you don't like any of these categories, don't worry, you can also hide them very quickly by going to the settings icon. And then we're going to go to uh, visible and check that and the category is hidden very easily so let me just show you that again that was very fast all right now if i press home it should go to the top but it doesn't it took us back to the default launcher now there is a way to fix that so we're going to go right to the top go to the settings icon and then we're going to go to android settings then go to system accessibility then all the way to the bottom to Project TV Launcher and then enable that and then I'm going to back out and next I'm going to go to Project TV Launcher settings general and then down to override current launcher and enable that. So let me just back out and I'll go right to the bottom and press home and as you can see it brought me right to the top. So this is how you basically override the default launcher. So I'm just going to go back into the settings and this time go to edit categories. And if I go towards the bottom, here we can see the categories that I've hidden. And if I go into it and then go to visible, we can enable it quickly as so. So that is Project TV Launcher in a nutshell. There are other settings which you can look into in your own time. The next app is called Downloader where you can enter URLs, browse websites but the most useful thing is to use the download codes which you can basically use to install any APKs. So in this one I will demonstrate on how to download SmartTube which is a ad free YouTube. So I'm just going to change it to numbers and type in the download code. So this is the code to download the stable version of SmartTube. And I will leave a link in the description so you can check for yourself. Now there will be a countdown. I will just speed up that here. And also the download. Again, I will speed up the video. Once that has finished, it will try to install. Once we get that pop up, go into the settings and then enable downloader. And then we're going to go to install. Again, we're going to get another pop up. Now as this is from a trusted source, I'm going to go to more details and then install anyway. So this is basically how you quickly install apps from the downloader. So I'm just going to click on done, go to my home screen and here you can see the new app SmartTube. 
So I'm just going to open that. Now what we're going to do is basically sign into our account. So I'm just going to go to the top right, click on that and then sign in. Now what we're going to do next is go to our device which we want to link our account to and then in Google type in YouTube activate and we will enter this code. It will be different for you and then click on done. Then on the right we should see the account. Just click on OK. And now I'm just going to exit the app by pressing back and then back again. Then launch SmartTube again. And you can see the recommended has changed as this is what the family has been watching. And I'm just going to go and play a video. And as you can see, it has started playing without any ads at all. So let me just uh, go out of the video. Now, if I go towards the left, you can see there are a lot of other categories here as well, which includes shorts, trending, kids, and so on. Then at the very bottom, we have settings, which has a lot of options, which you can tinker and customize to your liking. So next is the video player section. I have chosen MX player. There are other options such as VOC player and a load more, but this works for me. So here I'm just going to go to consent and then open settings. Basically, we need to give it file permission access. So then we're going to go to the bottom to permissions and then to files and media. So personally, I would choose allow management of all files as I also want to delete videos from my device. Once done, all of your videos and folders will come up here. I don't have any to show at the moment. Next, we have button mapper, which is essential if you want to customize the buttons on your remote. Now, when we launch this app for the first time, we need to give it accessibility access. So we're going to click on OK, then go into settings, system, accessibility, scroll to the bottom and enable button mapper. Then we're going to scroll down to add buttons then add buttons again and I will click on the YouTube button. Now if you want to delete that you can just click on the right but I'm just going to proceed on this button. Now if you want you can unlock the pro feature but we don't need to in this tutorial. So I'm going to enable customize so we have single tap, double tap, long press but I'm going to go to single tap now if you go down you can see there are other options available but I'm going to go back up to actions and then select applications and then scroll down to smart tube. So now I'm going to press the YouTube button. Now you might see this screen if you do go down to update shortcut and it should launch smart tube. Okay it has launched so I'm just going to press the home button. I'm in my home screen, then I'm going to press the YouTube button and SmartTube has launched. So this is how you quickly customize your remote. Then we have Local Send, which is a very useful app which we can use on our PC or our phones to send any type of files to our Android TV device. Now when we launch it for the first time, you will see a random name on the right hand side. Don't worry about that too much. So under quick save, I'm going to click on on. Basically, I don't want it to prompt me every time when I send a file over. It will just accept it immediately. But it's up to you how you want to keep it. So I'm just going to close that and head over to my phone. Again, you can see there is a different name. But when I go to the send tab, both of the names should match. And on the top, you know, we can select the files, media, paste, whatever. But I'm just going to select file which will bring up the file browser and I'm just going to select an APK that I want to send over. Now it will ask you to allow the permissions. This should be only a one time thing and the file has been sent over. Now if this dialog box you know, closes straight away, don't worry about that. What we can do is go to the top right hand corner, select the history icon and here we can find the file. So I'm just going to click on that. And then enable local send which will allow me to install the APK. So we're going to install it as normal. And I'm just going to click on done. 
So here is Mixplorer, which is a file explorer. So when we launch it, we're going to click on Agree and then Agree again. So we need to give it file permission access. So we're going to go down to Permissions, Files and Media. And as I want to manage all types of files, I'm going to select the top one and click on Allow. So this is basically a paid app if you download it from the Play Store, but because I got it from XDA, it is free. I find it to be very good. You know, you've got categories on the left. You can quickly create bookmarks as well. And I think this is probably the best file explorer. There are so many features and functions, which is too much to mention. So I will leave a link in the description, but you can try any other file explorer that you want from the Play Store as well. Anyway, that does it for this video. If you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.